We are officially one week into the National Western Stock Show. Ranchers and vi visitors alike, they are so happy that it's back on this year. We've got our very own Lauren Robinson out there live this morning, and you're talking with an auctioneer now, Lauren. That's right. I'm here live at the National Western Stock Show, and I'm here with world champion, international auctioneer John Corey and he's going to teach me how to do what he does and you know what I tried to dress the part I even have this um hat guess what guys it lights up I didn't take this job lightly I'm really here ready to learn how to try and be an auctioneer but first can you explain to me exactly what an auctioneer does? Well, uh, thank you, and it's nice to be here with Channel 9. Well, you know, auctioneer is facilitates a sale. An auctioneer is in command. He's like the quarterback of the team, and he does have a team that helps him uh, facilitate the sale. But uh, you know, the idea of an auctioneer is to get the most money for the product he's selling, whether it be livestock, equipment, real estate, charity, or whatever it may be. Uh, this is my 50th year in the auction profession. It's a, it's a dream come true. I love what I do, or you wouldn't be able to do it. But it's an art. It's just like singing, art. Uh, the better you uh, you are at it, the, the, the better you're going to get re received for it. And also, the better you're going to get. Not everyone likes the same singer. Not everyone likes the same auctioneer. And um, I felt growing up that uh, I, was, I wasn't born in the business, but I had a family that we went to many auctions. And, and so I would listen to the auctioneer. And that was my goal, is to be the best auctioneer possible. And I found that you have to be clear and you have to be understandable, but you have to be entertaining to get that money from the crowd because you're trying to get that money from them. And so after completing auction school, I, I, I had a, a, I've had a great career and I'm still working very hard at it. I decided that I would like to teach auctioneering and I put a DVD together uh, that has, it's called Chant of a Champion and it kind of helps get you involved. It's, it doesn't take the place of a school, but it helps you get interaction. And then I've got some sheets here that I'm going to have you go over with me and we're going to try to teach you a little bit. It doesn't happen in a day. I still practice every day. I've been in the business for 50 years and you still have to hone your skills. Today I have kind of a weak voice and that's and everyone understands in the business when you're on the microphone it happens and so uh, I don't have a real strong voice today but I will have a strong voice for the junior auction this coming Friday at 6:30 on channel 9 the junior livestock auction uh -huh. so Lauren I've done a lot of talking so what's your questions <laughs> all right so I think everyone in some way is interested in auctioneers and this talent that you have so I'm really interested for you to try and teach me a little bit about how to be an auctioneer. What do I do? How do I do this? Well, you know, it's all numbers. And uh, if you can count, you can be an auctioneer. And so the main thing is learn how to count. We've got a few tongue twisters right here that I like to kind of warm up on. And you can kind of go over that first one right there and just kind of repeat it a few times. Big brown bug. Yes. Big brown bug. A big brown bug bit a big brown bear. A big brown, oh no, I'm already messing up. A big brown bug bit a big brown bear. And so you kind of get some kind of rhythm with your numbers, and then you kind of add different things like a deer. Um, you've got to have that tongue that twists in your mouth to kind of get that going, like one, not a bit, down two. I bit one, not a bit, now two, now three. And so you're just adding some cadence to it to get some excitement. You know, nowadays with all the situation there is in the world, you know, when I grew up and I started selling, that's been early in the in the early 70s uh, you know we didn't hardly have PA systems now we have the greatest PA systems now since the the everything that's going wrong in the world we had to change now to the internet online bidding and it has become a, a different test to the auctioneer um, what makes a great auction and right now is to have the live crowd the interaction from the live bidding online as well as people being there of course um, with this, with all the things that happened this last few years, um, the auction profession had to change, and they changed in an amazing way, and adapted to the new way of, of doing business. Um, for me, I have to have that audience. I want to interchange because auctioneering is no more than communication. You have to communicate with your crowd, and if you can't communicate as an auctioneer, you're probably not going to happen. You know, there's a lot of men and women that are great auctioneers and they do a great job they got different styles from different parts of the country and they're used in their own element i've had the privilege of working all over the world doing my craft and uh, so i had to have a clear understandable chant and had a lot of communication uh, with the, with the people all right so we have a big brown bug but a big brown bear and um i think we'll have a little bit more of this we have a couple more um attempts for me to try what's next 
Well, let's do uh, right. This was this was a hard one right there. Tommy and Tatamus took two T's, tied them to the top of two tall trees. Tommy and Tatamus took two T's, took two ties, and took two trees. Let's do the woodchuck. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Hey, you're, you've got the natural talent. You got All that right. tongue rolling. Yes. You know, I'm going to keep practicing, and we're going to be back in the next half hour, and I'm going to give this another try. We're going to continue to be talking with John Corey here. He's going to give us some more tips. Hopefully, I can manage to be better in the next half hour, guys. You want to stay tuned? Let me know how I'm doing. Erica? Lauren, you're doing great. That was a really great start. I also absolutely love your hat lighting up. I mean, the whole vibe you've got going on. So much fun. Can't wait to check back in with you.